Hello friends, I wanted to check in with everybody and give you a few updates on things. Um, thank you for all of your concern um, as I've been sick. Um, fortunately, I am doing much better um, other than a lingering cough um, and some congestion. Um, the fever did go away after a few days and the cough doesn't seem to be like what they talk about with COVID-19 with the coronavirus and the fact that it's become mostly a head cold. They never did test me, um, but our assumption is that it was not since they were not, they didn't, they weren't inclined to test me because I did not ever have shortness of breath or any of those issues and the cough has not been the dry cough that they talk about. So um, I think I'm on the mend and thank you all of you for your concern and your patience um, as I was kind of out of commission for a few days. Um, as it happens, now I am a few days behind in trying to make all the preparations for what this new moment looks like for us and um, how we're gonna continue to be connected together. But I wanted to update you about a few preparations that I have been making. Um, this Sunday, we will have a resource posted um, for online worship, um, and it will be on this YouTube channel that I have created for the church. And I will also link it to our Facebook page. Um, so that if you um, go on the Facebook page or if you already are um, following the Facebook page, you should get a notification of the update. Um, I will plan to post it at 10 o'clock, um, but it will be available anytime after that for you to look at. And it will be pretty simple. I will just walk you through kind of a spoken liturgy, including a sermon and some prayer. Um, as the weeks go on, if it looks like we are going to be in this mode for um, longer than we had planned, um, I may explore some more options that would allow us maybe to be more interactive where people could um, could call into or join a Zoom meeting or things like that where people would be able to participate more um, interactively in the worship service. Um, so keep, keep alert for more notifications on that. Um, I also will be sending out a written resource um, for uh, leading people through a simple liturgy for Sunday morning. It will have the readings in it for this Sunday and next Sunday, as well as Palm Passion Sunday on the 5th of April. Um, if we have to go beyond that, um, we, are, we will get more things out to you, but that will be included in the newsletter. And I will also be sending it via email um, today or tomorrow um, along with, well, I guess I will send it today along with a link to this video and instructions on how to, how to find us on Sunday morning. Um, in this time, I just want to continue to encourage you to take care of yourselves um, and one another. I know this is a really scary time for everybody. There's a lot of anxiety um, about what it means and our own health and the health of our loved ones. Um, check in on one another, especially make some calls or send notes to those that you think um, may not have family or friends checking in on them, those who might be particularly vulnerable, even if those aren't people that are um, generally in your circle. Um, it's a good time to make use of our church directory and do some reaching out. I will do as much as I can with that, and I'll be working to try to identify particular people that we need to be focusing on. Um, but I encourage you in this time to, to care for one another as well. Um, let me know as you do if you hear of particular prayer concerns, um, if people are willing for you to share them with me um, or if they're concerns that you have. Um, it's gonna be very important for us to be connected through prayer in this time and I will be praying for the congregation regularly. And if there's needs that we can safely meet for one another, um, please let me know that too, or let Julie know in the office and we'll try to coordinate for someone to be able to help. Um, if there's somebody who needs groceries and can't go shopping and someone could do that for them, that sort of thing. Um, we know it is really an uncertain time uh, for everybody and including for finances. Um, I know a lot of you may be concerned about what's gonna happen with your jobs um, or money coming in. Um, and we just don't know a lot about what that's going to look like. And we're going to trust God to get us through it and um, that we can rely on one another. And we'll be looking for um, whatever avenues we can find to help each other through that. 
in this time, do just remember that the congregation still relies um, on your offerings. And so as you are able in this time, we encourage you to continue um, sending in your offerings. You can um, mail it to the church. Uh, we will still be um, checking our mail. Um, you can also, if, this, if you have not already, this is a good time to explore electronic giving options. Uh, there is a video, I mean, there's a video, there is a link um, on our website. If you um, go onto the Paradise uh, Lutheran Church website and you click on give, there is an option there for you to be able to give either a one-time gift or to sign up for regular electronic giving. So we encourage you to do that. Um, if you need help with that, or if you would prefer to fill out a paper form and have um, Chris Gable, our bookkeeper, do that for you, you can contact her. Um, and I would encourage you also, if you are in a position at this time where you are able to maybe give more than you would have otherwise, or to give ahead in the year, ahead of schedule, um, to prayerfully consider that because you may be able to um, cover for those who are not able to give as much as they usually would right now. In all of this, um, whether we are together or apart, uh, we just remember that God is with us. And that is both a comfort and a call. It's a comfort to us to know that we are not alone. We are not without hope in this time. We are never forsaken or abandoned by our God. And we are also called in this time then to be the church to one another and to our neighbors in whatever way that looks like right now. So know that I am praying for you and am available for you to contact me via email or phone and let me know how things are going. Peace be with you.